there's a what in the band? Okay, this is an interesting, say very that, interesting Say question. that again, I couldn't hear you. Okay. So, I'm a keyboardist and I play bass on the piano on the B3, but if there's a bass player, how much bass player is Well, <laughs> what I hear from other bass, what I hear from bass players, and, and they usually, the bass player and the organ player will talk it through before they get on stage, and um, the, the organ player will stay out of the slow registers and allow the bass players to play bass, which is, frees things up for you a little bit. But at, as not being a keyboard player or a bass player, I'll let a bass player or a keyboard player answer that question for you. Check, check out that one. I, yeah, I, I have that trouble myself because I do a lot of solo shows on the piano, so I'm always carrying the bass line when I do that. Uh, and then switching over to playing with a band, with a bass player, uh, yeah, definitely stay out of those lower registers because a lot of times uh, the bass is going to be doing a different bass line than you may think, or doing different changes, and you don't want to like mesh with or like, clash with that. So oftentimes, you know, I'll do something like that that stay off the root like if it were in C just do something like that uh, yeah I, I, I tend to stay away from the lower uh, registers I, I think and I also think that like if you just do a different inversion right. than the bass players play it um, but it's more of a you know personally I really like it sometimes when the bassist and the keyboard player are ramping that bottom end up depending on what it is but you you really can't sustain it through the whole song so it would be picking sections of the song where it's really badass to, to have the big both of them doing it but it's really something that you do if you're in a band with somebody that you guys should work out before it, it gets there we got room for one more song we got room for one more song go ahead uh, can you talk a little bit about what part passion plays in playing music. Ruby, you're a very passionate singer. Uh, talk about how you convey uh, emotion to the, the listener. For me, well, I, go ahead, Ruby. Um, well, like, I look at it like every, you gotta put every bit of your heart and soul into one note. If you play one note and you put all your heart and soul into that, and you, that's how you convey it. I mean, it's just like you're talking. You're, you're talking to somebody. Whenever you're, whenever we're playing, we're talking to you. And if you have a girlfriend or boyfriend or loved one that you want to convey, convey your passion to, or even your family, somebody, any, a friend, just as you would talk to them, that's how you express to them. You express. You're expressing on your instruments. That's how, I mean, that's that's the easiest. And, I don't know. If it's vague or whatever to um, say but that's that's just you have to put every bit of your soul into that note or into that that you're doing and get that across get that across about anyway you're going to get something from you know I don't care if it's opera you know it could be classical for that matter but when you when there's nowhere to play say for instance and, and no people that there's not an event or a bunch of people the best thing you can do is like you know find a, a field any kind of venue somewhere where you can set your stuff up and just invite everybody because you never know uh, whether they're jazz artists or country artists or blues artists or whatever. You know, get, just you know, whatever you have, make it take advantage of that. 
just play with anybody. You might check with your local Blue Society. I'm sure you know I have a Blue Society. I'll talk to somebody. Um, and I'm sure that somebody's going to want to. I mean, this music's not going to survive once we're gone. I mean, and once these are, I mean, I, I watched all my heroes that we that watch Pine Top. I got to work with Pine Top a bunch, and he passed away. And thank God we got this young man over here playing the same way, and, and some others. So you guys, you guys are the future. You know, we're, we've already we're already running our road. So we're, we're still running our road, but you guys are the future, not us. So, so we're, we're doing it, but you guys yeah, are the ones that have to re and recreate it. It's yeah, okay, it's okay, okay to, to do that. that stuff. You know? One more thing also, when you're playing an ensemble, it's always a good idea to come down for the piano player. Absolutely. Because, because the piano doesn't have as much, as much dynamic power as other instruments, so you'll see that a lot of times. And you want to let the piano player make, you know, improve the song. But if, if the band is too loud and you don't come down, would you agree, Wiley? I mean, that helps a lot. I absolutely. I always appreciate it when folks come down for me because sometimes they don't, and people in the crowd tell me later, I couldn't hear you up there. <laughs> and and another thing, one one more thing. Remember, guys. Remember this. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Okay. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should. So play the song. Okay. Make the song. Okay. <laughs>